Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Theo here. On today's video, we are going to install the ultra gauge on the Mini Cooper. But before I do that, if this is the first time you stop by the channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification icon so you can get notified every time I drop new videos. So, let me go ahead and take you on this quick DIY. Perfect. Perfect. So this is how the box come up. So we'll go ahead and do a quick unboxing. So you have this manual here and you have the bill here. Who cares about that? And this is the actual ultra gauge itself. So if I remove that piece, this is the device. And when you order it from the manufacturer, you have an option of selecting how you want to mount it. So I want to mount it on my windshield. So I selected this uh, windshield mount. So yep, that is it. That's just everything that comes with it. This is a little bit how the finished product is going to look like. So I've mounted that using the windshield mount. The ultra gauge is mounted. But now all I have to do is pretty much route the cable. So I'm pretty much going to go in here. In here and route it inside this compartment all the way to the obd2 port which is right up here so all i have to do is remove this panel and then mount everything there now the reason why i'm actually you know i purchased the ultra gauge is the fact that as i mentioned in my previous video i don't have any gauges to let me know the engine temperature or a lot of other useful things that you know you need to know whenever you're driving so that is going to give me all of those information and i'm going to show you how to set it up but first let me go ahead and route these cables properly the first thing probably i might want to pull out this cover and just pull it like that uh -huh. and then the other side do the same thing all right there you go so that's going to help me now secure so let me go ahead and put the cables then i'm going to walk through to how exactly i pull all the cables all right so as you can see i've routed the cables that is coming from the ultra gauge right here so it's gonna go in there it's gonna go this way down here and then i've you know i've measured the amount that i need here's the other part right here so when you fish it you fish it from the left side right here and the obd port is right above this right here so right now what i'm gonna do is i take an all credit card and i pretty much just you know fish everything through the hole here and it fits pretty nice in there as you can see the cable is hidden right there you know and then this is going to be tucked away when i close everything make sure that i just push it pretty well have it inside there and then i just move this to that side there you go and then i push it okay hide the cable and on the other side push it also and there you go everything is hidden just have to hide the cable pretty well and there you go so it's mounted there everything is right here so let me go ahead and plug it to the obd2 port you can just pull a little bit on the cable and obd2 port is right here and bam it is plugged up so now first time you plug it is going to do this which is normal let me go ahead and get inside the car and then show you the setup so the ultra gauge actually you know has over a hundred function that it can read from any car so this is not mini specific and anytime you purchase this you can use with any car for example now i have a mini i can use this so if i move to another car i can just remove the device and go ahead and use it on another car now the only difference is that each car that you use is going to read all the function that it can read and then show you only those ones the device come pre-built in with a lot of features a lot of things that it can do but then it just adapts to your car so this one can actually read codes also so whenever if i have code and check engine light things like that 
this device is also going to read it for me. Now, at the beginning, it's doing this because it's scanning all of the module that you have on the car so that it can read it. So I'm just going to let it do its thing and then uh, start filming again whenever it's done scanning. All right, so one thing I forgot to point out is that there are three buttons on the back of the gauge. So on the right side, you have a top button here that will be up and then you have a bottom button that will be down. Now on the left side, you have one button that will be the menu button. The menu button is also the OK button. So whenever you somewhere and then you want to access that feature, you press the menu button, it's going to act like an OK. So here, since our car has a 13.5 gallon, so we go ahead and actually select that so that we can make changes when it's blinking is the time that you can make changes as you can see so we go down really quick all right 20.5 gallon we press the menu one more time and asking us to select the engine size we have a 1.6 liter so we go ahead and navigate all the way to 1.6 all right and then we hit menu again okay so it's just providing you some type of warning we can pass that after pressing the menu again so this is by default what you have with the system so it turned off because i have the engine off so that it will not drain my battery so let me go ahead and turn on the engine so if we press the menu and hold it So it's going to take you to this page right here. So on this page right here is pretty much where you can select how you want to set up the device. So this is the gauge menu where it's going to show you all the menus of the gauges and stuff like that. Fuel menu, vehicle setup, ultra gauge setup, alarm, trouble code, and more. So let's go ahead and select the first page so we can see what's in there. All right, so in here you can see that you can select gauges and page for the gauge so let me, let's go there really quick so select gauges all right so this device can show you up to seven pages of gauges so let's scroll and use the first page all right so on the first page these are all of the options that are available now there's a next year meaning that there are more options that will be available with this one so let's go ahead and select the options that I actually want to set up. So I already have my little list here. So let me use my cheat sheet. So what I want is coolant temp, boost pressure, timing advantage, oil mass, intake temperature, and fuel rail. So that's exactly what I want displaying there because those are the you know functions that are important to me that I want to be monitoring at all time. So let's go ahead and start working towards that. So my first one will be coolant temp. So we go ahead and uh, you know coolant temp just select down All right, so I am done setting up and what I have here is simple. Engine temperature, PSI for the tubo. And right now, as you can see, it's showing me an alert. It's showing me that my battery, you know, value is not great. So maybe my battery is going to die on me soon. So it's something that I have to check. So this is the importance of having something like this because it helps you prevent things. Imagine, for example, that my battery is going down and then I'm on the side of the road somewhere in these cold days. So having this is going to prevent me from having an issue because as you can see, it's showing me the alarm right here. All right, so once the alarm clears, so here I have time in advantage and uh, I also have the oil mileage so that I can monitor the next time I need to do my oil change. So I want to be able to do my oil change every three to 4,000 miles. So I start counting from today, 3,000 miles, then I'm gonna do my oil change intake temperature and then the fuel you know pressure yeah so this is the importance of having this gauge right now so now every time i drive my car i don't have to worry about anything else compared to you know engines temperature and things like that because now i have this gauge that is doing everything for me and the cable is 
wired it's true i can see this one which mm, i might have to change this mount maybe in the future i don't know it all depends but so far it serves its purpose and i love it so how did you guys like this video um if you did you know make sure that you leave a comment and follow me on my social media instagram account again thank you for watching and see you on the next video this ultra gauge is awesome